Welcome back to the third match in a best of five between Spike and Rainbow Shadow, the semi-finals of Spike's Synoptic January Dual Cup. And we're off. We are on Mint, which is a game that, uh, sorry, a map that I haven't seen all that much in very well competitive duels. But the last two games between these two have been incredibly close and you should definitely, definitely check those games out. They're already up on the channel uh, because they were really close. So this is a map I haven't seen played super close. I've had a couple of close games on here, but I haven't watched any super close games. It hasn't been in many tournament map pools since I started playing the game. Rainbow Shadow is hunting around. You can hear him moving quite quickly through teleporters. So... Rainbow was definitely hunting for Spike there, and Spike's going to get a beautiful shot. That's like, that's the way you always plan to make a frag in this game. By hitting your opponent multiple times and then around the back of a corner. Just a beautiful frag there from Rainbow Shadow. Uh, sorry, onto Rainbow Shadow from Spike. A lot of cool bits of movement you can do on this map too. Hopefully we'll get to see a couple. Watching from Rainbow's point of view would be incredible on this map, I think. If he knows if he knows all of the tricks, that is. Rainbow gonna go down again, but the map this map's quite big, so we won't be seeing the super aggressive frag frag back type thing. And an early lead can be kept a lot easier than the other two maps we've seen where an early lead there meant nothing. Uh because you know, you could get 10 frags in 2 minutes if you really pushed hard enough. Rainbow managing to pick up first kill on here. The other advantage of a bigger map is that fights tend to be a little bit more even. You can, If you're on the back foot, you can force your opponent away. So, when these guys are going to come into a fight, it's more likely to be a... Uh, a pretty even fight with even stacks. Rainbow dropping down towards this mega health. Spike gonna hop up, waiting. Rainbow takes the mega, gets through the door, takes a rocket and a rail to the face, but gonna get away with his life and Spike's just not able to make this jump up right now. There we go, he's up. And he takes out Rainbow Shadow. Again, a textbook type of frag right there. Love these combo. Simple frags. You wouldn't put them in a frag movie unless you were Themo and making the movie Mediocrity, which is... God, that movie's like mostly better frags than I could ever make. A beautiful take of the Mega from Spike there, but Rainbow's going to hunt him down and take him out. Spike's still in the lead with three minutes into the game. About a third of the way through. And it is looking good for Rainbow to equalise this. Has control over the item. Spike's definitely on the back foot. Unable to connect with any of this chip damage that he's trying to do. Both players hitting a really good rocket there. But Rainbow going to be coming out on the front foot. But Spike's got the mega health. And will be getting away with his life. Able to pick up a couple more items. Spotting Spike's just spotted Rainbow. Rainbow's over here at the 50. Knocks Spike off of it. Spike doesn't have the health to push in there. 8 health and you can be taken out by basically anything. And there it is. Does take the item before Rainbow's able to get the frag though. So at least the item's not being... Uh, being given away but Rainbow now has evened it up and with a better stack and better items than Spike. Spike's got to push in but manages to get the frag on Rainbow as he backpedals away from there with a beautiful curved rocket. We will be waiting a little while before the items come back up. Spike going to be connecting a beautiful combo with the Crylink and the Vortex. This much larger map is going to suit the uh, two players down to the ground. Funny. 
Yeah, Their play styles do sort of suit a larger map, I feel. Spike, though, taking a bit of a lead now. For the first time, a proper solid lead, and you have control over the map, which we haven't seen so far uh, in this map. You know, having, having the lead. It's been either you've not had control or lost control to take the frag lead, or been behind and had the lead or it's just been tied for the most part really it has just been uh, a well tied game rainbow able to smash up high damage there a beautiful rocket coming through uh, to take spike down to low health and then finish him off Rainbow looking to equalise it here. Spike's unable to pick up any armors coming through to these all at the wrong time. It indicates he's completely lost time on them. Rainbow is there. There goes the Mega. Spike should have heard that. Should be able to know where it is if he wants to. But now he's got to find out when the armors are. Health's all well and good, but you can't have health without armor, and you can't have armor without health, so. Like now knows when that one is, but gonna have to backpedal out of there. Knows he doesn't have the health or stack to take the fight, especially when Rainbow is constantly picking up the items. So it is gonna be a tricky one for Spike to defend this, but he's playing it very carefully. Which is a good thing, but there we go. Rainbow equalizes, picks up the armor. Spike's getting there just way too early and being a predictable target. And now Rainbow has control, and like I said, this is properly the first time that someone has control and has the lead because Rainbow has gained the lead by having control. Spike pretty much lost the lead as soon as I said has control and has the lead. Um, he got bullied off of one item and it seemed to just slip away from him. Now he's got to push a little bit though. He's in a position where... He's got to try and make the push to make the frag, but going in there and rain, just getting a bad spawn. Just things like that, you get a bad spawn and immediately you've got to take on a fight. Rainbow in a beautiful position takes the mega. Absolutely perfect timing on that. Dropping in, taking it. Spike is around these items when they're up though so it does have a general gist of when the items are up which is definitely good for him and he's able to trade out a frag there which is going to reset things somewhat especially with spike like i said uh, knowing the item timings on most of these things going to be able to pick up the mega rainbow is going to take him down to quite low health. Spike just not able to connect any of these shots and Rainbow able to get little bits of chap uh, chip damage. With Spike unable to connect anything big or small, Rainbow just being able to do 10s and 20s at a time is definitely good. And with both players being on such low health uh, after that reset of a mutual frag, Spike getting stuck in the corner, unable to escape and unable to hit any shots. Beautiful rail there, connects the rocket. Again, absolutely textbook. We have a minute left, four frags to find. On this type of map, it could be difficult, especially now it's five. Uh, it's possible, potentially. I don't think it is now, but there we are. <laughs> Spike's played this incredibly well. Uh, Rainbow has just played it better, really. Rainbow has played this, the middle section of this map when Rainbow regained control in a very composed way, bullying Spike off of those items, making sure that he couldn't even get the timing for fear of taking a lot of damage. And then once he didn't have much stack, it was can't take the can't contest the item, can't get the timing for fear of just dying in the general area 
But there we go. 14 to 9. Rainbow Shadow going to take it. Thank you for watching. We'll watch the next one. This is the third in a best of five. Looks like we're going to be going all the way to five. In fact, I know we are because I've got five demos. So see me in the next one. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Yeah,